gonna be walking down this major road towards this. A lot of construction is over on that side. I'm gonna talk about it. We're also near this kind of bus terminal kind of stuff. I'm also gonna talk about that side over there, which is uh, Zhuhai, China, Hengqing, Zhuhai, China. This is the road that we would be coming down. And there's kind of, um, there's like a, um, a port right there that brings out people that can take them all the way down here to Kolowan. So um, I'll probably talk about that too. So stay tuned. Hey, after you watch this, tell me what you like most about it. Put it in the comments below. Also, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button so you can see when I make other videos too. First thing on here is just a lot of fishing poles. So I see, um, I kind of walked by a bunch of other fishermen, and I'm not really, um, I, I kind of wanted to get down a little bit further. I didn't want to, I think there's, I think you'd get the idea already if I filmed all of them or if I filmed some of them. But there's some of them right there. If you keep going all the way up that river, you'll um, go towards the inner harbor and you can park some boats up there. And on that side is um, Hengqin and uh, Chu Hai and Hengqin. Hengqin is like the giant, most southern part island of. Um, of Macau. It's kind of interesting they got all these chairs you can hang out. This is also the um, Bara stop for the buses when they stop for a while they kind of do their whole route and then they'll stop in this area so these buses are um, idle. No passengers are not really moving they're just taking a break and they'll probably use those porta potties for bathrooms and that over there is um, the cow tower and then there's a Pena Hill right there that, that uh, I don't know if you call those mountains or if those are hills. Pena Hill? I guess it's a hill. Depends on where you're from. I grew up somewhere flat in the United States, so everything's like mountains to me. But if you grew up in the mountains, then these are hills. Um, so that right there is a financial district that they're building. Actually, that's the main part, I think. But I think these are... This whole area is um, going to be like Shanghai has something called Kudong and Kudong is where all the financial stuff is at and this is going to basically be the same kind of thing and they're going to be doing uh, from my understanding they're going to be doing an exchange of um, of patakas so Macau we use patakas we call it MOP um, Macau um, patakas and MOP and MOP is, is similar to the Hong Kong dollars so they're pegged to each other with just a slight, small difference. And, and then, uh, then the UN, so the Chinese UN. So this little financial district right here is going to be basically be a conduit for the Chinese UN to connect with the Macau Pataka. And the Macau Pataka, the goal of that is to connect with um, the Latin speaking, the Latin world, which basically means South America, Southern Europe, and um and africa as well so so the portuguese speaking countries in africa like angola mozambique um cape verde there's se i think there's seven of them total so all of those would be part of it this is like i'll tell about, i'll talk about that too so just kind of keep that in mind i'm gonna get on that topic next but um so those all the money from those seven portuguese speaking countries plus there's one spanish speaking country in africa called um uh, Ecuador, sorry, not Ecuador, but um, it's like Equatorial Guinea, something like that. And then there's also the Spanish-speaking world and um, all the Spanish-speaking countries a lot, South America, Mexico, Central America, stuff like that. So that area right there is going to be a conduit for the Latin money and products and markets with the Chinese UN and Chinese UN I think they kind of like uh, it's not really on an international scale but like if they use you know Hong Kong and Macau then it can be kind of go that way this over here is um, new as you can see I don't know when it's ready gonna be ready yet but that whole area is basically gonna be a, a station there's a light rail transit um, like a metro line to bring people throughout the city right and so it's 
being built, it's already built on the Tepa side. There's 13 stations and then they're gonna, the first one on the Macau side is gonna be this. So that train line is gonna go over a bridge. Right there is the bridge right there. And it'll end here. I mean, that'll be the next step is the ending spot here. So people can get over to the Macau side from that train station, which would be pretty cool actually. It'd be really, really cool. And then later they're gonna keep building um, the train line throughout Macau, throughout the peninsula, which is gonna be amazing actually. Can't even imagine it actually. But yeah, there's a lot of, I see a lot of changes. It's one that's exciting to live in Macau because there's so much changes all the time. And actually all this right here too, this is my first time to walk by this, which is visible. It's actually quite amazing because I could actually jump over there and go over there. Where before there was this giant wall here with, um, with uh, security and that's all removed. So I always thought that security was just because they didn't want um, mainland Chinese to run across or swim across to whatever and come over to the Macau side. But apparently that's not an issue because I don't, this doesn't look very protected to me. It looks pretty wide open now. And I guess that maybe, maybe why they had all that security stuff was because of the cameras. Uh, not because of the cameras, but because of the, um, the construction. And that's the other side over here of Barra. So that's the, I think that's gonna be the main station, but it's gonna come through all of this. So this is still under construction and we'll see what happens with that. Parking garage down that way as well. So there's a lot of changes. Yeah, and actually the last time I was walked here, there was a giant wall. And now it's just this like green. And I saw somebody painting this. I went by it um, earlier today and somebody was painting it a nice green color. So I think this green thing wasn't even here before. Yeah, it definitely wasn't because they put up all the cement there. So that's all new cement, right? So they put up all the new cement. They put up this green wall very recently. And I wonder what they're gonna do with that. They've been, they had a lot of that construction, so they're building out there. And I think this was kind of like um, import export. I think they were like bringing stuff in, but they could have been doing something different. I mean, I don't know, maybe they're gonna extend this road and the road will go out that way a little bit, possibly. I don't know. I haven't really seen the full plans, but if they did that, that would make sense. Keep on walking. Over there is um, Tiago, that, like that little building right there, used to be a hotel and it hasn't been in operation in a long time, which is too bad because that looks like one really cool hotel. But I wonder if that will come back to life once this is fully completed, because that would be amazing to stay there and then come over to this train station. And that train station connects with all the um, casinos and the ferry terminal and the airport and everything. I'm going to keep on walking down. And I, this time I can finally see what this black thing is. So we're going to walk all the way down to that black thing. I've been long wondering what that was, but there's always been this big giant wall blocking it all the time. So this will be the, one of the first times I can actually see it. Yeah, and all this construction here too is pretty interesting. Let's see what's going on here. Got a little traffic jam there. So I guess we got, um, Got some piping in there. Yeah, it's kind of interesting when you see the Juhai side because I can see like, looks like a giant stadium over there. And I think that's that Hengxin part. I mean the financial district right there. And I think those are probably all apartment buildings over there. Yeah, and then that, actually that's Hengxin part. And this is Juhai side. So this is another island, I believe. And then there's um, Juhai. So kind of like Macau has, um, traditionally there was three islands. There was Macau Peninsula, Taipa Island, and Kolawan Island. And now they're all connected by bridge or in the case of two of those islands are connected because they put reclaimed all the land in the middle. So I think that's kind of the same over there. They're like individual islands. So this one, there's a bridge that connects it. And I think that's a little financial district that they're building. And then this is all gonna be facing Macau. And if you can see that boat right there, there's a boat with a bunch of dirt. And I've been watching dirt coming into 
Macau for the last, since I've been here, we're constantly reclaiming land. I've been here since 2013, but there's always um, dirt coming in. Just gonna go a little bit further. Macau Tower, could, could walk this way all the way to the Macau Tower. But actually this one, my goal is just to walk to this little black thing and to see, maybe we can even walk out on it. That wasn't accessible to the public for the longest time, but it might actually be accessible now. I'm glad I'm walking this because this is going to change too. So we don't know what it's going to be later, but... I'm going to guess it's going to be something that we can overlook and see how beautiful all that is when that's fully developed as well. So it's exciting to be in a city and watching all the stuff happening. You know, it's kind of like, I don't know, Macau is, um, it's gonna be something pretty big someday. At the moment, it's still kind of a smaller city. But I think in the future, Especially if, um, I think the basic plan is that Hengqin part over there, all that over there is going to be part of Macau jurisdiction in some way or, or another. And I'm not sure how that's going to be fully realized yet, but I think that basically it's going to happen. There's a little bit of a beach right there. Lots of construction down here. Yeah, we, if we kept walking, we would see some... Um, people taking taking advantage of some um, outdoor like um, like just basketball there's like a bunch of weightlifting stuff like exercise equipment I mean sorry it looks like we can't get in here but when we can Porta do enten entendimento so yeah, later we'll be able to go in there and walk around. That'll be kind of cool. But that's not available yet. There's Mikala Tower. Bunch of construction workers. And I guess we have a name of the street right there. It's called Avenida Panoramica. De Lago Saiban. So we're, I think the, the main road is a different road, but this is... um part of it right here and we're gonna end it right here Let's go check out the room oh, hey guys three things like subscribe make some comments below it'll really help out my channel all right